Week 14 of fantasy football season. Here's a few defense DST units. I looked it off the wire this week. The first one, the Green Bay Packers. Packers, great matchup as a streaming option this week at the New York Giants. I give up the most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So Green Bay, we know they had a tough matchup versus Kansas City Chiefs, one of the best offenses in the league. And now this week is a streaming option available in 82% of fantasy leagues after many fantasy owners drop. This defense with the tough matchup coming in, I think they could go out there Monday Night Football at the New York Giants. They could go make some plays. Is this Green Bay Packer team? And this Giant team, I know Tommy DeVito's been playing good football, and Saquon Barkley still one of the better running backs in the league. But DeVito's still taking sacks. He's turned the football over a few times. And I think this Packer defense on Monday Night at the Giants could go out there and put up some fantasy points. The next DST is the Houston Texans. The Texans is another streaming option with a great matchup versus the New York Jets. I give up the second most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. So the Jets, another home game for New York. They really haven't moved the football. We don't know if it's going to be Trevor Simeon, Tim Boyle, or they're going to go back to Zach Wilson in that game as New York. But the last few weeks for this Houston DST, Week 12 versus Jacksonville, 24 points allowed an INT. And Week 13 versus Denver, 17 points allowed three sacks. And three INT. So this defense, they're starting to create turnovers. And this week versus a team that has no good quarterback at all and one of the worst offensive line in the league with injuries. I think Houston could go out there and make some plays on this Jet team. And it wouldn't be surprising. They're a top 10 team of fantasy points at the position this week. Available right now in tons of fantasy leagues. It's 87%. The next DST is the Detroit Lions. The Lions, they're having a great season once again. I know Thanksgiving I had that hiccup but came back with a nice victory and beat the Saints in New Orleans in Week 13. So Week 14, a great matchup at the Chicago Bears. I give up the six most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. I know going back to Week 11 versus this Bear offense, they didn't do much as this DST. Only 26 points allowed, two sacks, a fumble recovery, and a safety. But this week here, I think this team's going to be more focused. They came out of the gate hot in that ball game in New Orleans before the defense did falter out a little bit in that one but Justin Fields you don't know what Fields is going to show up in this game he's been all over the place over the last few ball games and I think Detroit they could go in there make some plays create turnovers and still this bare offensive line one of the worst in the leagues I would give them an ad this week they're available right now in 69% of fantasy leagues the next DST is the Minnesota Vikings the Vikings another streaming option I know their defense really hasn't been good all season available right now in 86% of fantasy leagues. So the last few weeks for Minnesota before they went on by week 10 versus New Orleans, 19 points allowed, three sacks, two INTs in that one. Week 11 at Denver, 21 points allowed, two sacks. Week 12 versus the Bears, 12 points allowed, three sacks, two fumble recoveries in that sloppy Monday night football game where they lost. Then the bye week 13 and week 14, a great matchup at the Vegas Raiders that give up the eighth most fantasy points to the SDs on the season. So Aiden O'Connell, the quarterback for this rated team. I know offensively on paper, they look decent. Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers. But really, these players haven't done much for the most part of the season. I think Minnesota getting fresh and coming off a bye week in a game they need still in the playoff hunt right now as a wild card. is definitely a DST to add this week. And like I said, out there in 86%, of fantasy leagues in the fifth and final defense DST unit. I looked off the wire as another streaming option as well as the New Orleans Saints with a great matchup versus the division rival, the Carolina Panthers, that give up the fifth most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. Right now, they're the 158% of fantasy leagues here is New Orleans. I know Mark, Marshawn Lattimore is still out, but this Panther team really can't move the football and is a one week use only as a streaming option. I like New Orleans. This week, I know the last few weeks we haven't seen much out of them. Week 10 in Minnesota, 27 points allowed, a sack in that game. And week 12 at Atlanta, 18 points allowed, two INTs. And week 13 at Goose Egg, 33 points allowed in a sack. But with the good matchup versus Carolina, Bryce Young not really doing much this season in his rookie year. Not offensive line week. I think Cam Jordan and the Saint defense could create havoc. And they're a pickup this week available in 58% of fantasy weeks. That's a few defense DST units. I looked it off the wire for week 14 of the fantasy football season.